No, there are some in Iowa who say they saw this chaos coming. The Democratic caucus is including warning signs about that app. Here's Cynthia McFadden with more. Long before Iowa voters gathered at nearly 1,700 caucuses, precinct captains and caucus organizers in the Iowa City area knew of problems with their new app that was supposed to tabulate results like a fancy calculator. This email chain provided to NBC News shows their mounting concerns. 9.09 a.m. Nobody having trouble with the app should feel dumb, one organizer wrote. At 9.13 a.m., a precinct chair replies, I gave up on the app. A few minutes later at 9.29, another jokes, just don't submit your results. By 4.30 p.m., NBC News had talked to 12 precinct chairs who said that they either couldn't download the app or log in. By around 10, some precinct chairs had abandoned the app altogether and resorted to a hotline to call in results. But there were problems. Being on hold with the Democratic Party trying to report the results was like being on hold with customer service at your cable company. I have no idea what's going on. Trouble was clearly brewing, caused, it appears, not by the Russians, but by the Iowa Democratic Party itself, which blamed a coding issue for problems processing results, emphasizing they were not hacked. Security experts tell us they're alarmed that the party has refused to reveal who made the app. Even worse, that the party told precinct chairs to download it to their unsecured personal phones. This morning, Chad Wolf, acting secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, had this to say. Uh, so our cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency has offered to test that app uh, from a hacking perspective. Uh, they declined. I have no knowledge of the Department of Homeland Security making that offer to us. So who did make the app? A company called Shadow. Receipt showing the $60,000 they were paid. The company run by a former Hillary Clinton staffer. Nevada Democrats saying today they paid the same amount to the same company, but won't be using them or the app and are evaluating next steps. This afternoon, Shadow issuing an apology. We sincerely regret the delay in the reporting of the results of last night's Iowa caucuses.